guys! Today I am so excited to share a book review with you all. That is for The Fifth Wave by Rick Yancey. I have been meaning to read this book for months now. Since last year when I first joined booktube I heard everyone talking about this. The sequel comes out next month called The Infinite Sea and I am so excited. I pre-ordered it the same day that I finished this one the other day so I cannot wait to read that and review it for you guys and I thought to kind of anticipate and get ready for that it would be really cool to see what you guys thought. So to get started I want to say I think this is the first sci-fi type of book I've ever read. No, for a fact I've only read this one book about aliens. I've never read any other book about aliens so I didn't really know what to expect and I'm not gonna lie I was kind of freaked out when I first started reading this because I mean the opening quote like before the book even started was enough to just run me out of town. If you guys have not read this um, Rick Yancey puts like a little kind of blurb quote thing you know that they do before the actual book starts and it says that if aliens ever visit us I think the outcome would be much as when Christopher Columbus first landed in America which didn't turn out very well for the Native Americans. If you just think about that that's like so true and probable but like very creepy and it definitely applies to this book. Overall the verdict was that I absolutely loved it which I was hoping I would enjoy it but I loved it and I'm kind of surprised because I don't read a ton of sci-fi or alien type of books but I absolutely loved it and I cannot wait for the second one so today's review is going to be spoiler free just a discussion a little bit about the synopsis and the plot and the characters and just my thoughts and yeah to get started I am obsessed with the covers and this whole kind of book design I really like the way this book looks. I think it's very very appealing and I just love everything about it and you guys know I talk about this all the time but it's got that rubberized kind of matte cover that's like I don't want to say like chalkboardy but it's like um it's like NARS packaging. If you guys have NARS makeup or if you have ever seen NARS makeup it's like that rubberized feel and I love that. I love that the book is a big book like it's a bigger taller hardback and it's got a very distinct um, spine title here. I always notice this book on people's bookshelves when they're filming and if they have it or if they do like a bookshelf tour. This book always stands out to me so I really like the kind of visual design aspect of this book. I just think it's really really cool. And there's Cassie who is the main character of the book and I just think the color palette and everything is really cool. Now for those of you who maybe have not read this to give you a very very quick synopsis I don't want to spoil anything or tell you anything so basically this is a book about aliens obviously and it follows the kind of perspective of a girl named Cassie Sullivan and I think Cassie is like 16 or 17 I think she's 16 and basically a mothership appears in the sky and the aliens show up on earth like in our world America and I guess it's everywhere but it's in the United States I don't know if it's on the other continents or anything but it's in America so the aliens show up and they start invading and basically like killing off the human race in America. They do it in what they call waves which is why this is the fifth wave but they've done previous waves of other things that have kind of eliminated the majority of the race. It's not really like green aliens like you would think an alien. It's like a little bit of a different setup and storyline and it's very interesting. It's actually pretty realistic if you were to think of how something like this would happen. Like if this were like a real world scenario. I think that the storyline is fabulous. I think that it's very very re realistic as far as sci-fi goes and I was very impressed. If you're not into this kind of thing or you don't think you would be into this kind of thing I would say still give it a shot and go for it because again I wouldn't normally gravitate towards something like this and honestly if I hadn't heard so many people talk about this I probably would have never read it. I won't say never say never but I probably would most likely not have just picked this up at the bookstore but because everyone raved about it so much I had to read it and it was fantastic. I really like the layout and the writing style of this book. I think that Rick Yancey is a fabulous author. I think that his commentary was really great. His just development of the characters was really really awesome and I loved just reading 
the storyline. I think that it was very well written and even like the characters had so much personality and there was a lot of still like some funny kind of comic relief parts um, even though like this big alien invasion is going on. So I really like that and another really cool thing about this book is that it's kind of um, staggered as far as the chapters go where it goes back and forth between perspectives or characters. Basically it's told from two characters, Cassie and then another boy named Ben Parrish or Parrish who Cassie knew from her school and stuff and so there's kind of a connection there but it's told back and forth between those two characters but they are on completely different like places and they're doing different things so you kind of get to see different sides of what is going on and it's very interesting and then there is I think two random like little sections that are told from two other characters um, that are still pretty important characters but that aren't you know the main main characters so most of the story is told back and forth from Cassie and Ben like just on separate um places like they're not together or anything there's like Cassie is here and Ben is there so I think the book had some pretty cool quotes and stuff in it too I liked two of them I took some screenshots so this first quote is on page 42 for anybody interested in that but this one is in a certain scene of the book where Cassie's kind of in a predicament kind of uh, situation not to give anything away but she says think Cassie she goes think it's what we're made for it's what got us here it's the reason I have this car to hide under we are human and humans think they plan they dream and then they make the dream real and she says make it real Cassie so I loved that and I just thought that was a really kind of life oriented quote even just about anything it was kind of motivational honestly um, despite like the chaos going on in the story and then I have another one that I really liked and this one says there's a thousand ways this could go wrong and only one way for it to go right. Don't think a play ahead or two plays or three. Think about this play, this step. Get it right one step at a time and you'll score. Every day in life, I always get caught up in, you know, go, go, go and trying to do eight things at once or trying to make something happen like by doing all of this. And I think sometimes you're more proactive and more progressive if you just take things one step at a time and if you kind of uh, start from the bottom up and not try to rush or hurry and kind of force things to go your way. So I really liked those quotes. I think the writing style was spot on. Um, characters wise really quickly Cassie and Ben um, were kind of the two main characters. I liked Cassie. I found I was a little bit more um, relatable to her obviously not just from like a female perspective but I feel like you got to see a little bit more about Cassie's true personality and her thought process and the situation Ben was in he was kind of a little bit veered off from who he used to be um, without giving anything away but I still like both of their characters um, I think Cassie's little brother was really cute, Sammy. Um, he's not in it all throughout the book, but he is a pretty large kind of character. And I think that his character was really precious when he was in the story. And then Evan is another one. And I don't know what to think about Evan. Um, Evan's character is very complex and has um, a lot going on. And at first I liked him and then some things became apparent and I didn't like him. Um, and then as the story went on, I kind of liked him again, but then Ben Parrish is also there and I don't know what is going on there. Um, there's kind of like a love triangle, not to like give anything away to anyone, but it's a little bit odd how things left off. So for those of you who have read this book, I don't even know what's going to happen in the next one because I thought Cassie was with one person but then another thing kind of happens I guess we'll see tell me your thoughts and what you think is gonna happen in the next one um, and I will talk to you guys about it in the comments I hate to like say anything in the video to give it away I'm really excited to see it I hope you guys enjoyed my review today and I hope it wasn't too chaotic and all over the place because there was a lot going on in this book and there was a lot to talk about I guess that's it for today um, I will definitely do a book review for the second one because I pre-ordered it and I should hopefully get it on the same day that it comes out so if you want to see that then give the video a thumbs up and let me know your thoughts below and yeah thanks so much for watching you guys and i will see you all very soon bye